USC quarterback Keaton Slovis is transferring to Pitt. Now, I, I was doing a little researching and whatnot, tried to figure out exactly what the connection is here because that just seems like a weird place to go because Mark Whipple just left. I don't believe Pitt has made a hire for their offensive coordinator position yet. So why would you go somewhere where you don't know who the OC is and it's you know all the way across the country, etc.? You're, you're losing you know a lot of guys off of an ACC winning team. It, it seems like it would be a step back for Pitt next year. However, it appears that Keaton Slovis is he's got a relationship with Pitt women's soccer player. Kate McKay, but another lucrative factor is actually uh, from Hell to Pit on Twitter. Slovis signed a uh, a name image likeness deal with American Eagle back in September, and the American Eagle headquarters are actually in Pittsburgh. So <laughs> it's just down the street from uh, the Pit football facilities. So I was, you know, this stuff kind of this is a new one for me. Chris, have you seen anybody that transferred somewhere to get closer to a corporate brand in college football yet? Well, no, because nobody's been paid by a corporate brand like that. Like, I mean, I guess Uyunglele is in Clemson, which is like, I don't know, like an hour and a half away from Atlanta. So, yeah. like, they're pretty damn close to Dr. Pepper, and they signed him. So, Yeah, that would make sense. It's I don't, You know what I'm saying? Like, we just had NF- NIL the first year. So we, we don't have a lot of this yet. But if you're going to get paid by these guys and they're like, hey, I'm certain their their brand headquarters are in Pitt, right? I'm yeah. also certain that they have a lot of influence in what's going on in Pitt football and Pitt athletics. And the reason they signed this kid was because that this is contingent upon you moving here and you transferring to play here. That would make sense. That's a, That's an interesting aspect to this that I have not thought about. And what so do you what, think NIL is? Why do you, why do you think Eric Reed left left Baton Rouge for 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 uh, Alabama? He got a big ass NIL deal, and LSU was dragging their feet on getting NIL deals for kids. Yeah, yeah. Like like the whole reason he transferred was for nothing other than he got a big ass NIL. Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. So yeah, Eli Ricks so to Alabama new. is over that. Uh, but I I don't know that it was just NIL. I mean, it's not like he's moving next to a corporate brand. I don't know. That's I'm curious yeah, to see how this plays out. Corporate brand's irrelevant. If the corporation that's hiring you is saying, "I'm hiring you, and I want you to come play at this school," then that's what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I think we might. He doesn't get the NIL deal from whatever the Alabama booster is or whatever if he's staying in Baton Rouge. That's true. You might be right about that. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We just can... don't question it because guys going to Alabama is no big deal, but guys going to Pitt. We're not used to that. Well, that's what NIL does, is it opens it up for guys to want to go to places like this. Yeah. No, you're you're certainly right. You are certainly right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.